Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to give a few tips related to the topic projectile motion and I do hope this will be useful for you in your attempt for JE main, JE advance as well as NEET examination. Now, let us consider a case wherein a projectile is projected with initial velocity u, theta is the angle of projection okay and suppose this is the trajectory of the projectile if this is initial velocity u this is theta this is x axis this is y axis so initial velocity along x axis is ux initial velocity along y axis is uy ux is u cos theta and uy is u sin theta u sin theta okay so and let's say this height is h r is the range this is time t equal to 0 and this is time t equal to capital t so capital t is the time of flight capital t is the time of flight now as we know that height of the satellite it is given by the expression u square sin square theta by twice g okay so now u sin theta is ui so i can write this as u y square by twice g okay now similarly time of flight t is equal to we know it is 2u sin theta by g now, u sin theta is ui so i can write it as 2 uy by g so this is time of flight okay so now from this i can write ui for this relation i can write uy is equal to g into t divided by 2 g into t divided by 2 okay now if you substitute ui over here in this equation What do you get? We get h is equal to g square t square by 8g. That is equal to g t square by 8. So we have h is equal to g t square by 8. Okay. So this is the relation between maximum height and time of flight h equal to gt square by 8 now another relation range range is given by the expression r is equal to u square sin 2 theta by g now this can also be written as r is equal to 2 u square sin theta cos theta by g or I can write it as r is equal to 2 u sin theta u cos theta by g what is u cos theta it is ux u sin theta is ui so I can write r as 2 ux ui divided by g okay now there is another approach to this relation uh, this expression can also be written as r is equal to 2 into 2 u square sin square theta divided by twice g into cot theta into cot theta cot theta is cos theta by sin theta so one sin theta gets cancelled out and we get the previous form now what is this this is u square sin square theta by twice g is height maximum height so this implies r is equal to 4 h cot theta so this is another important relation so this is the relation between range and maximum 
height. Now this expression can also be written as or, or range cannot be written in terms of time of flight r is equal to g t square by 2 cot theta. So this is the relation between range and time of flight range and time of flight this is the relation between range and maximum height now another relation suppose this projectile it is projected with initial velocity u okay this theta is the angle of projection and uh, this is the trajectory this is the highest point the angle subtended by this highest point is alpha so alpha is the angle subtended by this highest point of the trajectory theta is the angle of projection such that tan alpha is equal to h this is height and this is half the range so divide by r by 2 okay so that gives tan alpha is equal to twice h by r now if you substitute the value of h and r we get tan alpha is equal to tan theta divided by 2 okay tan alpha equal to tan theta divided by 2. So, where theta is the angle of projection and alpha is the angle subtended by the highest point of the trajectory with respect to the point of projection. Okay. Now, uh, for a projectile which is projected horizontally, if a projectile is projected horizontally from height h and uh, say u is the velocity of projection it travels along this path parabolic path and uh, this is the range r so in this case ux is equal to u initial velocity is along x axis ui is equal to 0 initial velocity along y axis is 0 this you can also calculate using the if you take the component if this is u this angle is 90 degree if this is u this angle is 90 degree so this component will be u cos 90 degree cos 90 is 0 so this component will be 0 okay so that gives time of flight there is a time taken from this point to this point is equal to twice h by g square root of twice h by g this is the time of flight and the range r is equal to u times time of flight so that is twice h by g so this is the expression for range and uh, one more concept suppose uh, there is a plane and suppose this is a plane and this plane is moving in this direction with velocity v and from this plane a packet is dropped this packet will follow this path okay now with respect to the packet uh, this plane the packet is at rest now but with respect to an observer on the ground this packet is also moving along with the plane so initial velocity of the packet will be in the horizontal direction and that will be equal to the velocity of the plane at the instant the packet is dropped from the plane similarly if uh, if you have a car or a bus Suppose you have this is a bus and this bus is moving in this direction with velocity v and a packet is dropped. Again, the velocity of the initial velocity of the packet will be equal to the velocity of the bus. And this packet will travel in this along this path and it will fall and it will follow a parabolic path. So for both these cases, uh, the initial velocity of the body if the body is dropped from a moving body a body which is moving horizontally then the initial velocity is equal to the velocity of the body from which this particular packet or stone is dropped so these are few concepts which are 
important with regard to the topic projectile motion.